All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ragnar and Mr. Nobody. Today, we're going to start off with a little bit of a bang. We got attacked by uh, an event. Nothing too big, nothing too serious. It's going to be four uh, heretics fighting off our colony. Which just means free little skill capsules for us, to be honest. Oh yeah, let me get that. So, today, um, I'm actually in the big city <laughs> where there's Wi-Fi. <laughs> So right now, at this time, at this moment, there is, it is 141. I'm going to try and get as many videos as I can before 5, see how that goes, and see how many videos I can make. Kind of as a little fun thing. I don't have to, like, drive anywhere, so I can just sit here, edit, and then just fucking send it. Ooh, what is up with Camino? Hello, Commander. I'm a traveling nomad who is searching these lands for rare artifacts of great value. Seeing a commander in these lands is a rare sight. These, hold, these lands hold many secrets and everything you see here is a product of previous commanders trying their luck. I will rest for a while and continue my journey. Good luck, commander. What are you... Oh, you just... Just leaving? Okay, sweet. Alright, so... Without further ado, let's just get something a little bit, you know, serious out the way. I know a lot of you guys are... Or a good majority of you guys are actually vets or in the military. You know, just supporting your fellow... Marin buddy. But um Oh, we're just gonna kill Kimino. Uh <laughs> I don't know why. I'm pretty sure I didn't say attack. But we'll end his life. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on back. So I have to make sure we didn't kill Kimino for the reason. So the seriousness I want to talk about is recently, not recently, a couple like a month ago, two ago, one of my buddies from 3-4 passed away. He committed suicide, took his own life because uh, he just had dark thoughts and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure he just didn't have anyone to talk to. And I haven't talked to him at all since we've gone and out. So I don't really know if like he just didn't have anyone to talk to around his family or anything like that. Or like all of his boys were still out and still in. Because like we're all friends in the Marine Corps and all that stuff. But you have like that circular friend group that's like your brother brothers. So I'm guessing like maybe his boys were still in all that stuff and he didn't reach out to me. But as I was saying, he committed suicide just because he was just sad and depressed. If any of you guys, because I know a lot of you in my channel right now um, that are watching are like in the military or ex-military or vets, you know, just because you guys see me, you're like, oh, this dude's a Marin. I'm going to try and help him out just because, you know, he's a buddy, you know, military. That's it. I'll subscribe. But seriously, guys, or just any of you guys, I'm going to put my Discord down there and below. Like, if you really have no one to talk to, just send me a message. I will do my best to reply immediately. And I understand. Trust me. We've all been through. I'm a, I'm King Sad Boy. <laughs> I've been in that position. So it's understandable. A lot of, you're not the only ones. Like, a lot of people in the Marine Corps have been through that. So don't worry about it. I know this is supposed to be like, you watch this episode and it's supposed to be like, you know, kind of distract you from real life. But I just wanted to bring it up. So if you guys have any problems or issues, feel free to talk to me. I won't judge. I, it's it's just, if you just need someone to talk to and just release some burdens that's been through that and kind of made it to the other side, just like, hey, I'm fine. So if you want someone to talk to you, Go right ahead. I'm going to be here no matter what for you guys. Like, I want to make this community a place where we can all goon and talk to each other in the future. But right now, we're still kind of a small community. We don't really know each other that well, guys. So I'm just going to put it in there. Just message me whenever. Any of you guys, vets, not vets, military, non-military. If you guys just need someone to talk to, I'll be there. It's hard. I understand. Especially if you're a dude. Because, you know, you're supposed to be like 24-7 hardcore mode. <laughs> and people will look at you or some people that you don't know will look at you like we that's that's not gonna happen over here don't even worry about it so without further ado that's that i just wanted to get out that way so i can you know get my word out there that i'm here to help you guys no matter what and now we go into the fun part of the episode <laughs> all right okay without further ado i've been snorting energy drinks listening to rip and tear uh from doom eternal because, as I said, I'm in the city, in Mrs. Nobody's, like, apartment, but she has, like, four other roommates. And your brother over here is an introvert at certain times. And I'm recording with paper-thin walls, so they can hear everything I say. <laughs> or not everything I say. I, if I'm too loud. 
I'm sweating, brothers and sisters. I'm sweating. This has already been a weird episode off the start. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm going to try my best to get this out the way. Also, because this Wi-Fi is going to let me upload as many videos as I want. So I'm hyped to do that. Without further ado, let's just get into the colony built. We still got two of our boys in uh, ice cubes. I've moved them from over there. I didn't know you can move them like an idiot. So I, I had campfires set up to them. But they weren't melting them that fast enough. So I moved them from up here down to here near these two campfires and i'm hoping the, they're melting a little bit i'm seeing the little hands are coming out they are getting kind of smaller so i think they're going to be able to rejoin the colony here soon we killed those four so that means the events are going to be a little bit cleared for us here so we're good to start doing some missions because the next events don't happen until i think like 12 so i think we have a little bit of wiggle room so let's see what we can do here in research uh, we're probably going to hit skill castles level 3, but we don't have our full manpower. And these are kind of a little bit harder to do. Alright, let's see. So we'll probably get happy pills? Yeah, I think happy pills are... It's going to... Should be in... No, that's going to be hard. If I remember. Actually, Tower of Rust. That should be an easy one. You're supposed to just go there and goon. I will say though, as uh, as awful as an introvert is to like record in this environment, <laughs> brothers, I will say this Wi-Fi is amazing. I have re-downloaded every single game I've, like Total War, downloaded, boom, like an hour. I I am literally orgasming. There's one, two, three, four, five people here. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, uh, we don't have enough for me to feel comfortable to attack that, but we'll see. Oh, we also got new things. Either way, oh, I was saying, the free Wi-Fi. <laughs> free for me. Mrs. Nobody pays for it. For your boy. <laughs> bum. I will bum the Wi-Fi as much as I can. It's nice, dude. I've re-downloaded everything. So I'm kind of hyped to see how fast I can goon some episodes here. That does remind me, though. Uh, I remember when I was uh, out deployed in the Middle East. We had like Wi-Fi on base. We like, which crazy. I know all of you guys that are vets out here. Like what Wi-Fi in the Middle East? Disgusting. Back in my day, I used to go out there with no Wi-Fi, shit in a bucket, and fucking burnt that bitch. I know. I understand. Trust me. The burning of the fecal matter doesn't happen anymore. We have plumbing, like plumbing. So we're living a little bit of a posh life compared to you old uh, leathernecks out there. So I apologize being not being as hardcore as you guys. But what I was saying, <laughs> we had Wi-Fi out there. And uh, I, I think I brought my Switch, because why not? Out there. And I remember the Wi-Fi, you had to pay like $80 a month. For like a megabyte or two megabytes, which is disgusting compared. Like, like the megabytes I have back at my actual living place I have right now is like 10 megabytes and that stuff is slow so I already I can feel it. so think about that even worse two megabytes bro a second it took me three days to download smash or salt and sanctuary from my uh my switch and uh, and you're probably thinking wow Mr. Nobody did you really wait three days just to download a game you garn too and I did you don't understand how boring boring it is in the desert sometimes brother it's heckin' boring. Like, this dude standing right here just staring off into the distance, probably thinking about, like, wow, I'm literally, I, I enlisted for this. I feel his pain. You'll be on post doing nothing at night. Now, not nothing. We were, we were on a base, in a base. In certain scenarios. So, like, our, our guard didn't really matter. <laughs> or, like, no one would be, like, actually good. So, what we would do, me and my boy, or a lot of marines actually, god we're such shitbags. Well, we would just goon on post, like play on post, and now I know what you're thinking. Wow, Mr. Nobody, you played Switch on post? That's disgusting, what would you do that for? Can't the enemy see you? You're correct. Now I'm gonna say this right now though, did we care? No, not really, just because like, the chances of us getting gooned on that specific base was very low. Because, again, like I said, base on base. So we would sit there. <laughs> we, I would sit there, download games for three days straight. Everything. Salt and Sanctuary, Surgeon Simulator, and then I would go on post. And I'm like, 
yo like on post that like what time was it i think i had luckily i love this time period i think it was like uh uh like eight until 6 a.m i think around there or 12 to 6 a.m and then yeah and then we would rotate so we would be on post for like what six hours or eight hours sometimes just staring literally just staring at sand and then watching dogs just like packs of dogs like beat up each other it was awesome sometimes so i'm not gonna lie dude those dogs go hard that's a story for another time though as i was saying yeah we down i downloaded all these games went on post and i'm like yo brother brother my let's I, I, we're gonna call them flowers <laughs> Cause uh, I don't I don't want to throw anyone out there, but my boy was called Flowers. His real name shall be kept. <laughs> but our boy with Flowers, he's just like, dude, he was like a Mexican. He was yolt. <laughs> the dude was yolt. I remember doing so much dumb stuff on post with him. It was hilarious. I also remember his, he just loved birds for some reason, especially pigeons. I I don't know why. I remember him saying, dude, pigeons. We would he would we would sit there for hours on end, and you would start zoning out, and he would say. Dude, you know what? I'm like, what? Yeah, what, bro? And he's just like, my favorite birds are pigeons. Because you know how they'll walk? I'm like, what? They walk with such swagger. Like, hey, hey, fuck boy. I'm here. I'm a pigeon. I don't give a fuck. I'm a, I'll, I'll mess you up. And I'm like, uh, all right, flowers. Yeah, I mean, I know. Sure, pigeons are great. And he's just like, nah, dude. Pigeons are the best goddamn thing in the world. And I'm like, are, are you okay? And he just zoned out. And just kept looking. He's just like, pigeons, man. Pigeons really out here running this shit. I'm like, what the, I'm like, what, are you, I'm like, what are you? Are you okay, buddy? And he's just like, you really think they're cameras? And I'm like, all right, we're done out of here. We're, we're done. I'm gonna bring us the switch tomorrow because you're losing your mind. And he's like, yeah, yeah, that would be good. This is after us not having like sleeping for three days straight, so we're delirious. Well, he's a lucky bastard. Either way, I bring out that switch, and he's just like, oh. and I'm like, yeah, your buddy downloaded three days straight for you. Don't worry about it. We're playing Salt and Sanctuary, which is, I know I'm getting off here, is a is like a like a Dark Souls side scrolling game that's co-op, which is amazing. It's fun. It's a really good game. If you guys have a Switch and or anything, and you want to play something with your special other or a friend that's uh, Dark Soulsy, but a platformer and a side scroller, that's the way to go, baby. That game is great. Yeah, but we played hours of that screen screen on brightness all the way up. We didn't give a damn. Dude. That was that was a lot of bad. Can you guys break out already so we can go attack this? That was... Uh, I mean, I'm not saying... If you guys are going to the Middle East, I suggest you not to do this. Because you guys can get an NJP. It's... it's, it's you can go to jail. <laughs> you, can, you can go to jail. Or not jail. They wouldn't throw you to jail. They wouldn't send you to jail. But you do get NJP'd, which is like cut your pay. All that stuff. So don't do it. But I'm just saying it is boring. And nothing happens anyway. So it's fine to do. But I remember us screaming and having a blast on post and then like there's like a cog or cog uh corporal of the guard sergeant of the guard he would drive around in a truck all night to each post making sure like all marines are awake safe and sound da -da -da -da. brother <laughs> oh, wait up uh max five lives that's not good I don't want to spend this, and then I can get this back with the five lifer. So yeah, I'll do that because it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, so like they they drive around, and this is like the night of we're so hyped to play because no one has ever like really gone to our post really, and we're like no one comes up here, so it's whatever. So we're playing, da da da, -da having a great time, uh, and then truck rolls up, we didn't see it, and all we hear is. We're like, oh, fuck. I throw all my stuff in my backpack. My switch, everything just in there. Put my flak on, my, my Kevlar, everything. I mean, I'm I'm sweating, brothers. Yes, we also take off our flak and Kevlar. We're shitbags, I know. Whoever's watching this right now and just being like, wow. Marines are just shitbags. I'm like, look, 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 look. Yes, we're shitbags, but you have the right to tell me we're shitbags. <laughs> all right? God damn it. <laughs> I've done my time. <laughs> I choose how to live my life on post. Uh, but don't worry, we, we kept our MVGs on all the time, so no one would sneak up on the base. Duh. We're not complete shitbags. But, like, we heard they're coming up, and we're like, oh god, 
Oh god, by the Emperor. They're coming. They're coming. We're gonna we're gonna get NJP. We're gonna get screwed. And it's it's well, the world's over. I throw everything in there, I hear a crack, and I'm like, I pray to the heavens. I pray to the Emperor himself, to the Astartes, to whatever. I need to pray to. That it doesn't crack. And I throw that shit down there underneath my uh the 50. And I'm like, yep. I'm just using this to hold up the machine gun. Perfectly normal to do in the salt pack. <laughs> Put the machine gun on there, I'm like, oh god, this is terrible. And who walks up? Not the COG, guys. Not the SOG. The gunny. The gunny. Our gunny. For some reason. Walks up. And just goes, raw devils. And I'm like, I shit myself. <laughs> I'm like, I, I just shat myself. And he's just like, raw? I'm like, I mean, I'm like, I'm like yeah, yeah, raw, raw, raw gunny. Right, what are you doing? And then Flowers just like he's he's such a just easy going dude. He just he's also freaking out though because he's had some problems with our chain of command because they're dicks. Chain of command is always just bad news bears. And um, he's we're actually just gonna do this actually. One two three four. Yeah, against what? That way we're doing something with my story. One two three. One two three four five. I think if I do attack group alpha, make them attack this together. Yeah. And then we micromanage them a little bit. Aggro, one at a time. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to let them walk over there. And by the time they get there, I'm going to micro them. And then we should win the battle. And how much medicine do we have? Enough. So yeah, Kenny comes up there and I'm like, oh. I'm like, brother, what's good? I'm like, uh, what are you doing? He's just like, are you double seeing anything suspicious tonight? I'm like, no, no gunny. No, not at all. He's just like, damn. You boys are really out here just staying awake this long. I'm proud of you. Thank you. You guys are doing everything for once in your filthy lives. And I'm like, thanks, dad. Thank you. And he's just like, okay, yep, yep, yep. And then my my switch, my fucking switch, and my switch, it goes, doo -doo. So I'm like, what? <laughs> and he's like, what was that? And I'm like, uh, oh, uh, I'm like, uh, and then, uh, Flores is just like, oh, gunning, sorry. I, my phone, I, I forgot to put it on, on silent. And then he's just like, uh, all right. And he's just like, you know, you're not supposed to have your phone. He just starts chewing him out. And he just starts chewing him out. And he's just like, like, gunning, just gonna look at my phone. It's like 1%. I forgot to try. It doesn't even matter. We just started post. So it's not like I've been on my phone this whole time. And then he's just like, okay, all right. Da, da, da. He's like, don't have your fucking phone. And just start chewing him out. Anally. Right in front of me. And I'm like, oh. I'm like, thank you. I'm like, thank you, Flowers. I'm going to change the name right there. <laughs> I actually said the name because I got too caught up in the story. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you, Flowers. Thank you. And he's just like, no problem, buddy. He gets off the post. Everything's fine. Dude, but was... Did I... My butt tick, like, puckered so much. Because I wasn't expecting it to go, doo -doo. And it's just because I forgot to turn the volume off. And then we died in the game because we are still getting attacked. And I'm like, oh. And I'm like, thank you, though. Like, thank, thank the Emperor in that game you died really quickly. Or I, we would have been gooned. Because that sound would have been so loud that I, I would have, it would have just messed me up. All right, see if we can micro a little bit. There we go, perfect. And then, yeah, to this day though, I still find that as the funniest thing ever. Just because like, the one day we don't get anything, boom, Gunny of all people comes up here. And now this man, let me tell you, this man makes no sense, he just chews you up for no reason. And you're like, well no, you had a switch on there, I'm like, I know, I know, I know, I know, that time he had rights, that time he had rights, but. Look, in the past, there was a drone flying over our base, like uh. Uh, we don't know who it was from. Uh, we don't. We didn't really care. But like, uh, we have drone killers and all that stuff. But we were mainly concerned because uh, enemies up in the in the Middle East, they would uh, they would like modify their drones to like drop grenades and stuff on us. So we're like, uh, okay, there's a drone above us. Everyone stay inside. Be careful. And then we're like, okay, sure. This dude, you know what this man does? He picks up a flare gun, a flare gun. And starts trying to shoot it down with a flare gun. Like this drone is very tiny. It's like 300 feet in the sky. Like it's 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 up there. This man's just like, well, you know what? Flare gun. 
watch me. And I'm like, what? He just stands on top of a post, bro. <laughs> a post, the middle of the night, just starts shooting flares into the sky. Everyone on base is just like, what the fuck are you doing? And he's just like, I'm doing my goddamn job. <laughs> We're like, all you've done right now is just, all you've done is just provide light for the drones to see our base. <laughs> So that's so nothing he does makes sense. Nothing he ever does will make sense to me. The dude's kind of a dick, but it is what it is. He wasn't even grunt. I don't even know what MOS he was, but you know how those gunnies. If any of you are infantry, you know how those gunnies are. They come from like air wing or something like that, and they come in there and they're like, "I know what the hell I'm doing," and then you're like, "No, you don't. You're from air wing. What do you?" <laughs> Go fly your ship somewhere else, baby. And then you just come out big dick swinging because they're a bunch of grunts and they want to like, they want to make sure they can like show off their bravado to grunts so that we'll, so we'll respect them. It's not that hard to get grunts to respect them. All you got if you if you don't go air wing, if if you're from Pogues, all you gotta do to us is just be like, look, this is where I'm from. Yada yada yada. This is how it's gonna run. Yada yada yada. I'm not a and I won't be a control freak. And then, blah, O's everywhere. All those grunts will just orgasm for you. That's it. That's how easy it is. You know? That's how easy that schnitzel be. If you ain't got bodies underneath your belt, don't try to act hard. Now, if you have bodies underneath your belt, then you already have the respect of grunts, so don't even be a dick. Just share knowledge. But if you don't got bodies underneath your belt and got no notches, then don't do what you're trying to do. Don't, you know, there's no point in trying to be a bravado when there isn't, when you don't have anywhere to bring it from. But that's how it be. I don't know. That was a whole tangent of a story. This episode's going crazy already. I've, I've, I'm sorry guys. My breakfast has been a rain with 300 milligrams of caffeine. So, you know how it be. Whenever these guys get out of their little ice prison, our life will be a little bit easier. Ah, oh, that's so good. Until then, we're mooning. It's already been 23 minutes. It's literally been a whole boomer story and a half. I'm surprised you guys are enjoying this boomer stories. They're literally just no correlation. I mean, not correlation. Um, there's, they're just everywhere. Oh. Oh, do we win these? We... We win these. Uh, a little bit. Can we? Can we do this? I need to get. I need to get out right on the, the surgery. Oh, they just won't do it. But that's it for boomer stories for this episode. <laughs> we've done a. We've done one mission, and one boomer story. So without further ado, Marines down. Is he the one that lost his five health? Yeah, he's the one that lost his five health. That's. It's kind of bad. Let's give him five health right there. And then let's give him... Y'all okay, give me a break, brother. And then let's give him a, a skill capsule... Increase. Increase skill capsule by two. Give him another max life point. And then he should be back to where he was. Yeah. All right, and then we have a jester still. No, I think they're frozen. Comedian, yeah. I I saw an aura thing. Uh, happiness modifier increased by one. I need to I need to get an increased slot though, or she no 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 she's fine. So let's do that. Positive aura. Boom. So her happiness will never falter. Okay, perfect. So she's gonna be like the happiest person around. Um, Marines is kind of fighting for his life here. We have a lot of leaves. We can probably cut this down a little bit. And then keep working on the trees here. We're having some compost being made. Yeah. So then our farm will be growing up a little bit more. Next mission we're gonna be doing is gonna... Damn, we need, we need our boys to be out of this forest. Uh... We're about to get an event right now. We'll probably hit Fallout Bunker soon here. Yeah, we might as well start that. What's the event, brother?
Uh. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get. Let's make everyone just beefy. All right, perfect. A good way to end the episode, I think. It's already been a couple minutes, and I want to keep these episodes short so I can uh pop them out, pump, 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 pump them out for you guys in 30 minutes. Easy little bite sizes to usually eat. Um, we're still trying to get our boys out of the ice. They seem to be slowly dying. Uh, I'm trying. Like, they're surrounded by fire constantly. What we're going to do here, then, is try to put another campfire down and see how that goes. Yeah, I think that's, that's what I'm going to do here. Because I need these boys to come out. But it's not working out for you get for us. So that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. And like I said, I'll put the description in my Discord for for my Discord, not my Discord for my uh, yeah Discord. So you guys can talk to me whenever. Until then, I'll see you guys literally in a couple more minutes. So I'm gonna try and make as many episodes as I can.